electricity and to fuel categorically breaks international law. There must be an immediate ceasefire and a humanitarian corridor into a Gaza to enable food, water and medical supplies into the Strip. The children of Palestine, they must have a future in which they can live in peace, in safety and security, where they can attend school and attend university and receive an education to equip them for a meaningful and dignified life as full citizens. Jewish children and Arab children, they have the right to learn together, to play together, to grow together. Each and every one of them has the right to know the love of a parent. This catastrophic violence must end. The siege of Gaza and the occupation of the West Bank must end. The UK government bears a particular responsibility to ensure that the current violence is halted. The government and the opposition are not living up to that responsibility. Only the pressure from a mass movement of peace can force the change the world so desperately needs to see. Only a mass movement for peace can force them to take effective steps to end the violence. The NEU stands in solidarity with all teachers, educators and children. The threat of the rise in anti-Semitism and Islamophobia in Britain causes us great alarm. We condemn the attacks of Jewish schools in the UK. We condemn the attacks on synagogues and on mosques. We must build a movement for peace and justice in Britain, in Israel and Palestine, in which there is freedom and justice. We have a very special announcement, that just a, an update that just came in. People are still coming in to Marble Arch and the current count, the current count for participants in this march today is 300,000 and you're still coming in on your thousands. What a show of solidarity. What a message of solidarity. <laughs> and our union, the Barbagay Union, the Barbagay Union firefighters, we have a long history of standing in solidarity with the Palestinian people. And that extends to practical solidarity. That extends to sending practical aid and equipment and training to firefighters in Palestine.